It's everywhere in our grocery stores, schools, gas stations, even in our hospitals. It's in our bread, yogurt, soups, even in our potato chips. We love it most in our sweets and soft drinks, though. It's sugar. Good morning, Nana and Old Jerry. Today, I will be talking about sugar, a sweet but harmful substance. We have all eaten sugar as a part of our diet, in our fruits, in our meals, especially in our special treats. We know that if we eat too much of it, it can cause cavities or may lead to diabetes. However, it is a very important part of our source of energy. Sugars are a class of carbohydrates, making it one of our sources of food energy. Carbohydrates can be divided into three different groups, which are sugars, oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides. Sugars can be further divided into three different classes, which are monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polyols. Monosaccharides are single unit sugars. Those found in food are glucose, and fructose found in fruit. And galactose is found in milk. Disaccharides are two monosaccharides combined. An example is sucrose, which is table sugar, and lactose, which is sugar found in milk. How do we use sugar other than its natural sugar sources? Sugar has helped us make our meals tastier because of its sweetening quality. In our bread, in yogurt, our breakfast cereals, and even in our crack, it's found mostly in our baked pastries like cakes and pies, and even in a, the tomato sauce that we use for our pastas. Sugar can also act as a preservative for our sweet jams and jellies, and even deli like honey ham. We enjoy it most in our sweets like candy, ice cream, and chocolate. As much as we try to eat sugar from its healthier sources, it seems that we get most of our sugar from man-made foods. How much energy do we get from sugar? One gram of sugar gives us four calories. A tablespoon of sugar gives us four grams, which is about 16 calories. We can check the nutrition label, the nutrition facts on most food using the nutrition labels. One slice of bread has 110 calories, but eight of those calories are directly from sugar. A bottle of Gatorade has 150 calories, but, one, but 35 grams of it is sugar, which is about 140 calories. A can of Coke has 140 calories, but it's just mainly sugar. Sugar gives us energy for our daily activities. We can measure how much energy we get from sugar by looking at our calories. Just by being alive and breathing burns calories. The more active you are, the more calories you burn. The bigger the person you are, the more calories you use during activities. Mowing the lawn for 30 minutes can burn 160 calories. On average, playing soccer for 30 minutes can burn 200 calories. Swimming for 30 minutes can burn 300 calories. And running at a 6 per mile pace can burn 400 calories. So we try to balance out our sugar consumption by doing activities. What happens if our sugar consumption is greater than our physical activities? A study from 2015 says that the average American eats about 32 tablespoons of sugar a day. That's 182 grams, which is 2,048 calories. Sugar itself isn't a threat, but we eat a lot of it, so it causes harm to our bodies. One way is that it causes cavities, so we have to brush our teeth at least three times a day to prevent plaque and cavity formation. Sugar also increases risk of disease. The most severe effect of eating too much sugar is harm to our liver, which can lead to a disease known as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This disease can lead to insulin resistance, fatty liver, and a, and a disease known as dyslipidemia, which is abnormal fat le levels in your blood. Insulin resistance, diabetes, and obesity, an epidemic that does not only affect adults but also children. According to the World Health Organization, obesity is linked to a higher incidence of heart disease and cancer. Sugar, in my opinion, is one of the most damaging foods in the world. What's scary about it is that there's, it's everywhere. It's just everywhere in our, in our everyday diet. We need to stop this sugar addiction. 
because it's becoming out of control. Not just for adults, but children as well. A way we can stop it is eating more homemade meals, eating fresh rather processed, and reading our food labels more carefully.